This is John Lloyd from the Vermont Center for Eco Studies. This video will provide a brief introduction to working with the draft revised conservation action plan in Google Docs. When you follow the link that was provided to you, you should arrive at a screen that looks something like this. You may or may not see the document outline on the left hand side of the screen. If you don't, you can activate the outline underneath the tools menu. The document outline is handy to have because it shows all of the different sections in the revised plan and it allows you to navigate throughout the document simply by clicking on the appropriate heading. Now since all of you are co-authors on this document, we encourage you to edit the text directly. We really want you to contribute content to this revision. So I want to show you briefly how you can go about doing that. So perhaps you believe, for example, that this threat, smallholder agriculture, actually affects the majority of the population and you'd like to recommend this change in the document. I remember here that we're using the IUCN threat ranking system and if you want more information on that you can see the IUCN website or look at our other instructional video where we talk about that in greater detail. So to make changes to the document we simply can type in what we would like to recommend as a change. So we'd like to say it affects the majority of the population. That should give it a higher score and should give a higher uh, threat ranking overall. Note that as we go, all of the changes that we make are shown here on the right hand side so that everybody working on the document will, will be able to see the suggested changes that have been recommended by every other user. So all of your comments and edits are publicly viewable by everybody else working on this document. Also note that the changes you make are saved automatically. In Google Docs, you do not need to save the document as you go. Your work will always be backed up. So although we encourage you to edit the text directly, you can also add comments. So with the cursor positioned where you would like to add your comment, simply click on the comment button and then type your comment into the text box and then click the comment button. Your comment will appear here on the right side. And as with the edits you make, everybody that's working on the document will be able to see your comments. So one last option for those of you that would like to see a translated version of the document. Google Docs does have a translate document command underneath the tools menu. So simply click on translate document, give the translated document a new title, and then choose the language that you would like the document to be translated into. So do please note though that these translations are imperfect at best and that the final version of the revised plan will be translated professionally. If you have any questions about using Google Docs, first use the help menu and see if you can solve the problem on your own. But if you can't resolve the problem on your own, please contact either Kent McFarland or myself and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks.